Hey Taurus, let's get on with your reading. Messages for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Messages for Taurus. All right. True love awakened. They realized they loved you after they lost you. Now feeling very regretful. They have done the work and want to take a leap of faith for love. That's pretty straightforward. They realize they love you after they lost you. Now feeling very regretful. So you may have had an ending with someone. And then they've been thinking sick about you right now. Like crazy thinking about you. Right? Especially now they have realized that they love you. They have feelings for you. And you are no longer there. So, you know, regrets happen. Regrets happen to people. <laughs> and you might be surprised, you know, if this person would come back in that sense. But let's see. Let's check your tarot. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Their current feelings towards you, they miss you. Wow. Current feelings towards you, Taurus. This is a person who has been thinking about all the good things that you all had together. Yeah? All the good things that you had together. And it looks like they miss you from head to toe. <laughs> this is someone who misses you from head to toe. Especially if you have been giving them some memories, right? Could be physical memories, like little tidbits or little things that you may have created and then gave it to them, handmade stuff. Or for some of you, memories could also be like you both traveled together or you had some activities that you do together where it gives them pleasure being with you. So they miss that. Yeah, they miss that. It's very strongly that um, they do have feelings for you. Although, I feel like you may have pulled away or you may have let go of this situation now. Taurus, you may have let go of this situation. Let's see. Let's clarify this. Yeah, they miss you. And, um, you know, when they think about you, they are pretty happy. They are really happy whenever they think about you. You put a smile to their face. And the interest, um, the passion is still there. The passion is still there. Especially if you have been physically connected with them. They miss that too. Right. Yeah, there's been a pause here. Like I said, they may have you may have separated from them. So there's been a pause here, a break up, a tower moment, hurtful words were said, disappointments, um, unmet expectations, and they've been waiting a while, for a while now. For some of you, it's about maybe seven to twelve months. You know, they haven't been. They're just thinking about well. You have spent a lot of time together trying to build a life together. But now, where is it now? You know, it's more like this, this person is questioning it. And it's making them sad to think that this tower was really brought upon to both of you. It's making them sad. Their next step, though, is to get together. Yeah, three, threes, the three of pentacles. They want to get together and it seems like they will try to do their best to bridge the gap between the two of you. So if you're not talking right now, this person will be reaching out. If they feel that you have already disconnected from them, they would try to charm you back in, in a good way. And they will plan, yeah, based on what they can do. You might even be surprised if you have a common place where you usually go and um, they also went in the past. 
You might even be surprised you will see this person there. They will tail you. It's not that they will stalk you in a bad way, but more of they will follow, follow you so that they can be visible to you. They can show up for you because they want to work things out here. Yeah, this is a person is planning to work things out for real. Yeah. The intention is that um, I feel like they have they have reached a point of no return. <laughs> they have reached a point of saying this is enough enough of no communication enough of not being heard enough of just waiting on nothing yeah they can't take that uh, stage anymore and they want to talk yeah? they want to talk although there's been a little bit of conflicted um feel right because possibly if they talk, are they going to get clarification? Or they're even wondering, if they call you, are you even going to pick up? Uh, so that's that's a bit of a, a thing there. But definitely, they truly want to um, give some form of clarity here. Yeah? They want to give some form of clarity. Because you guys, you do have the same goal when uh, you were still together. You did have the same goal, maybe. For instance, I'll give you an example. This person wanted a relationship. You also wanted a relationship. It's just that the way you get to the final line, you have different ways of doing it. Yeah. So perhaps for you, it's more about even if you're not together as all the time because you may be traveling as often, at the end of it, if you still keep in touch over FaceTime, for example, or virtually, for you, you still feel that connection. Just an example. While this person, they still, they also want to be in a relationship with you, but they want a physical connection as often as they can. Just, just an example. You know what I mean? Both people are wanting to be in a relationship at the end, but the way of doing so or getting there could be varying. That was the main cause of your possibly conflict. And this person really wants to clarify it or to have a good conversation with you and to see whether is there still a way to win Taurus back? Is there still a way to do that? Because they really want this. Yeah, especially whenever they think about you now, they're happy. And I, I get the feeling that they also want to apologize. Yeah? They want to have that time for them to be heard and they want to apologize in order for them to start working things out with you. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.